Hello, this is Mr. Buffington from Simplify Academy, and today we are looking at greatest common factor. Let's get started. We're going to talk about factors. We're also going to figure out what GCF means. It's greatest common factor. And we're going to talk about common factors in general. Let's get started. Factors are numbers that multiply together to give you a product. For example, 3 times 7 equals 21. 3 and 7 are factors of 21. I will also often say 21 is divisible by 3 and divisible by se uh, 7. Yeah, so they are factors of 21 and 21 is divisible by those numbers or evenly divisible by its factors. When you're asked to list factors of a number, I use a technique called the rainbow technique. Um, basically, I would say list all the factors of 12, and then the way that I generally start out is I list 1 times whatever that number is, in this case 12, 1 times 12. And then I look for additional factors and factor pairs like 2 times 6 and 3 times 4. Then. I call it the rainbow method because I actually draw lines to indicate the factor pairs. And there we go. Using a factor rainbow like this is a good way to make sure that you've listed all of the factors. Because if you draw one arc of the rainbow and it doesn't connect to a number, you know you've missed something. When we're talking about common factors like this, we'll be given two numbers and you're asked to find all of the factors that are common between those two numbers. Here's an example, 24 and 36. If I was asked to find the common factors of 24 and 36, I would list out all of the factors of 24, all of the factors of 36, and then identify the numbers that are common between them, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Notice we have lots of common factors between these two numbers. Now it's time to practice a little bit. What I'd like you to do is find the common factors between 14 and 49. List the factors of 14, list the factors of 49, and select the ones that are common between both numbers. Go for it. Pause and practice. Welcome back. The factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7, and 14. The factors of 49 are 1, 7, and 49. So the common factor would be 7. Notice I do not select 1. Although 1 is a common factor, you can't really do anything with the common factor of 1. And I will tell you later on what we do if we only have a common factor of 1. That is to come. All right. Now what we're going to do is talk about the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor, to find it, you do exactly what we've been doing. So I'm going to give you two numbers, 8 and 24. I would list the factors of 8, list the factors of 24, identify the common factors, and then this is the new step. You will select the number that is largest number in both lists. In other words, 8 in this case. 8 is my greatest common factor, or my GCF. That's what GCF stands for, greatest common factor. That's it. Now it's time to practice a little bit. I want you to find the greatest common factor between 16 and 18. Go ahead and try that out. Pause and practice. When I'm finding greatest common factor, I list the factors of the first number, the factors of the second number, I identify the ones that are common, and in this case, there's only one that's common, and that's the number two. Therefore, that is my greatest common factor. That's it. Pretty straightforward with that. All right, pause and practice again. I want you to find the greatest common factor between eight and nine. Pause the video, try it out. Welcome back. We list the factors of 8, 1, 2, 4, and 8. We list the factors of 9, 1, 3, and 9. And you notice in this one that the only common factor is 1. 
this is the one I was telling you about. I told you it would come. When there are two numbers that have no common factors except one, we call these numbers relatively prime. I'm specifically using two numbers that are not prime numbers to show you it doesn't matter if the numbers themselves are prime or composite. That doesn't matter. What matters is whether they have common factors between them. So a relatively prime, two relatively prime numbers have only one common factor between them and that is one. All right. One more practice and then we are done with this lesson. Try it out. Greatest common factor between 20 and 30. List out the factors, identify the common ones, and show me which one is the greatest common factor. Go. Okay. Let's do it. Factors of 20, 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. The factors of 30, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Lots of those ones. The common factors include 2, 5, and 10. The greatest common factor or largest number in both lists is 10. 10 is our greatest common factor or GCF. Couple things to remember, list out those factors, identify common factors, and pick the greatest common factor. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Check out the worksheet and good luck on your quiz. Have a wonderful day.